Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I am very, very excited to share with you this little adventure that I recently went on. Uh, and um, you would probably judging by the title or the thumbnail, um, you will guess that I went out and bought a ton of laser discs. Uh, throughout this video, you will um, kind of see like little glimpses of my journey um, to Michigan from the Akron uh, area. Um, so it was, uh, about a, a little under a six hour drive from, uh, Akron to the Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so, um, I am very excited to share with you everything that I picked up, um, and just, you know, a glimpse of everything that, um, was bought. So, uh, you know, if that sounds interesting to you, please just sit back, relax. This video is going to be fairly long. There is a lot of discs to discuss and a lot of discs just to show. Um, so if that all sounds interesting, just sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Welcome back. Um, so as you can see, I bought a ton of laser discs recently. Uh, so uh, as you might have heard in the video, I don't know if it's fully clear uh, how the audio actually turned out at this point, but uh, me and a friend of mine went up to Michigan uh, to purchase these laser discs. Now, in most cases, I probably would not have made a six-hour trip to go all the way up to Michigan from uh, the Akron area of Ohio, um, which is about a six hour drive, a little under six hours, um, to purchase laser discs. However, this is a, a curated collection of uh, discs. I bought these off of a film professor who teaches up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so uh, there are there are some very, very rare titles within here. A lot of silent uh, black and white films. There's Criterion, uh, as you might have seen already in the me emptying everything out. Uh, there's just some great uh, like classic Hollywood films, um, but I just going through everything, there is no like just run of the mill titles in here. I am very, very excited um, because everything that I got, it works out to be with price and everything. Uh, it worked out to be about $1.79 a piece, uh, which is very, very, very cheap for a lot of these discs. And so um, 
I'm excited because all of these I think are going to make a fantastic addition to my collection. Uh, one of my goals within my movie room is to have all of the Criterion Laserdiscs and I pretty much just doubled my collection uh, with this one transaction. And so um, there are a few duplicates in here of things that I already have so I will be selling off a couple but not many. Um, so I mean I have like a, a stack here of like I think it's like maybe 10-15 titles. So I'm actually going to just kind of try to go through quickly say the titles um, and again I don't want the video to be super super long so um, yeah I mean some of some titles uh, I, I can guarantee I'm not going to know how to pronounce uh, so I'll just do my best on a lot of these so uh, bear with me um, and they were kind of broken into sections uh, there was like a box of Criterion a box of silent films and a box of like Hollywood stuff but that those also weren't 100% accurate. There was some boxes of um, like some Hollywood films mixed in with like the silent stuff or, um, you know, it, it was kind of hard to to determine. So I just decided just to do away with like his labeling system and just kind of put it into categories my way. Um, but I didn't put anything right now that you see behind me. Nothing's in categories besides Criterion. Um, and there's a little, I guess there's a silent section in a way. Um, but I'm just going to jump into uh, the one stack that's in front of me here, the Maltese Falcon. Peyton's Place. The Hospital. Network. Around Midnight. These are some of the uh, the classic, I guess, Hollywood titles. Um, this looks like a might be a concert DVD or concert uh, disc. Just show it here. Some of these that I'm not sure exactly what they are. I'll just show instead of say. Um, let's see the shop around the corner. Some Like It Hot, just fantastic gatefold of a, uh, if you can see that. Uh, I think this is a documentary. There's some uh, documentaries in here. Um, there's just uh, some documentaries and just some stuff in here that's, uh, I'm not 100% sure, you know, what it is or, uh, you know, so this has the, uh, receipt um, on the back still in here for um, let's see for thirty dollars so that's cool um, but yeah there's just there's a ton of stuff in here that uh, I've never seen never heard of um, there's some stuff also that was never put out on like disc before like never put out on a, uh, a DVD or a blu-ray um, and yeah it's just it's a lot of great stuff that I'm excited to uh, add to the uh, collection. But, but yeah. I guess I should be mis mentioning the uh, the titles. I'm sorry. Um, the mission. I'm trying to go quickly because the amount of discs behind me um, is a lot, and so I'm trying to get to the really good stuff. Uh, but summer of '42. Um, let's see, Tall in the Saddle, John Wayne, but some of these great like double features of um, films, there's another a double feature, maybe I should do this, let's go two discs at a time, <laughs> this might be faster. Macbeth. This is a Roman Polanski's Macbeth. Fantastic film. Great Train Robbery. This is not the original. That's a remake. Picnic. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Let's see. The Boxer. Just some more of these guys. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs, On Human Bondage, it's like a cartoon I think, 
Yeah, I've never even heard of it. <laughs> um, but like I mentioned too, there was a few discs that I do have duplicates of. Um, and these are the ones that I know for sure that I have duplicates of. Um, there's probably some other ones here that I'm missing that I need to go look at my actual Laserdisc collection, but uh, these are um, yeah, ones that when I was going through my notebook for all the Criterion Laserdiscs, these are ones that I definitely have already, but uh, North by Northwest. Um, see, I just got this one actually, so it's kind of disappointing, but uh, Sling Blade. So these are ones I'm going to be selling off, but uh, Lawrence of Arabia. It's an amazing edition of Dracula. Let's see, the Tea House of the August Moon. Never, uh, I have this one, I've just never uh, gotten around to watching it. This is technically a duplicate within the actual like lot. Uh, this is a Bicycle Thieves, the Bicycle Thief, Casablanca. Zulu, The Devil and Daniel Webster, Notorious, which is a duplicate within the uh, uh, this collection as well, along with uh, Wild Strawberries, Damage, and The Blob. Um, this is The Pride and the Passion, looks like a Western. Uh, the Wind and the Lion. Some Marlon Brando, it looks like Spaghetti Western maybe. Next I have uh, The Postman Always Rings Twice. This looks like a remake, I believe. Down to Earth. Uh, the Lives of Bengal Lanker. Kansas City, Shattered, and I have here another double feature on here, which is fun. I love the double feature discs. I feel like there's just, I don't know, they're so fun to have, uh, you know, two movies on one set, but I think this is a concert, actually. It looks like a concert on the back, which has a few music things within here, um, and uh, I'm not a huge, huge music person, uh, so I might be selling off the uh, the music discs, but uh, it's a Vincent Price title, which is fun. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a ton of horror which, within here. Um, out of every type of laser disc, I, I mean, Criterion and horror are the two that I, um, you know, I'm really looking to collect. I mean, same thing with VHS. I don't really buy any VHS unless if it's like horror at this point, but um, I don't know. I'm just always looking for just cool, weird stuff. Um, one thing was like, I used to buy Laserdiscs, just whatever title, if it was cheap, I would buy it. But I've kind of like, you know, shrunk my, uh, I've narrowed my viewing of uh, for Laserdiscs down to uh, essentially just... Um, criterion or horror or like this type of stuff which is a lot of like foreign uh silent films uh just weird stuff that you wouldn't see all the time but um i have here uh, john wayne in the searchers it's a fantastic film gandhi which this is brand new factory sealed that's fun uh, this is the first time, there's two discs, oh, this is, I guess, one of maybe two, um, sealed Criterion, um, oh, not sealed Criterion, sealed uh, laser discs within here, which I've never had uh, sealed discs before, which is cool. Uh, Tinman. Let's see, Hearts of Fire. So I'm always uh, I'm excited to have some brand new factory sealed laser discs within here because I have um, a few brand new factory sealed um, CEDs which I think is kind of cool to have. Um, let's see the men. This is a uh, this is in the Criterion collection. I believe they put this out on a Criterion laser disc as well, but at least it's on. Um, the, uh, it within the collection, like the Blu-rays, but it's a PBS home video title, which is fun. Simple Plan. But, it's 
Oh, that light. I keep getting a reflection on these uh, forefathers. We have a W.C. Fields, uh, which is some comedy in here. This is a straight up, which the best of W.C. Fields in 100 Minutes of Madness. So W.C. Fields, um, there's at least one or maybe it's two different movies within the Criterion Collection, um, at least the Blu-ray DVD. I should be saying it's the Blu-ray DVD um, and 4K collection. but. These are always fun. I have a couple of um, this put out by RKO Classic Collection. But this is Jimmy Hollywood. Some of these, I th I'm like pretty sure I have this one. Uh, this is Withering Heights. I'm fairly certain I have this in my own collection already. But some more John Wayne. The Sea Chase, more John Wayne. <laughs> Some classic, I guess, war films. Like Mulholland Falls. I wish this was Mulholland Drive, which I don't think was ever put out on Laserdisc. But, oh, this is a duplicate disc. Um, so, I have two copies of the, or a tall in the saddle. So I'll have to uh, check the uh, the condition of those, but um, it's classic Ben Hur, Kiss Me Kate, which I believe I have this on a DVD. And lastly, I just have uh, this. So um, some of them have like the original plastic, but it's kind of like peeling off, as you can see here. Uh, so I might just be taking some of that plastic off. I have sleeves, um, like vinyl sleeves for a lot of these, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, kind of go through and uh, determine what, you know, needs sleeves and what doesn't. We have here uh, The Man in the Iron Mask. Let's see, The Spanish Main. Double feature of Westerns. Key Largos. A lot of these I have heard of in passing, um, but I have, I've never um, actually like owned a copy, but uh, The Adventures of Don Julian. Now this is kind of cool because on the back it is all in, uh, thinking Japanese. I don't know, I think this is Japanese. Um, the nice thing with Laserdisc, it was never region locked. So, um, yeah, this is a, uh, um, it's kind of a fun thing where it was never region locked and so you could just um, get laser discs from overseas and you just watch them on your players. Um, let's see, four for Texas. But the um, there's a couple in here that I know are already uh, within, like they have the, uh, the Japanese writing all over them. Um, let's see, a day at the races, which uh, I feel like with Laserdisc, they were pretty popular overseas, um, and so you ended up with like a lot of different types of titles overseas that some of them weren't available here in the uh, the states. But um, let's see, this looks like maybe like a documentary on uh, Stalin, <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Here's more. Uh, there's a lot of these uh, within it. A lot of the uh, silent comedians, but. The Midnight Cowboy. Let's see, How to Marry a Millionaire. I think this is Marilyn Monroe, yeah. Uh, Salvador. Uh, woman, let's see, Woman of the Year. It's another double feature. So I'm going through these pretty quickly. I mean, I'm trying to get to the really good stuff, so I'm just trying to, you know, skip through um, a lot of these, like, you know, not necessarily run-of-the-mill stuff, but more of, like, Hollywood uh, stuff that you might have heard of before. Um, I'm trying to get to, I mean, Criterion or the Silence era of films. Um, 
because there are some really cool things coming up. But, see, the Seahawk. This is like a art documentary, um, National Gallery of Art. Again, another one of these are RKO uh, classic pictures, I guess. A classic collection, sorry. There's a few in here. I mean, here's another one. And another one. I'll cry tomorrow. This is a double feature with uh, the cameraman, which is a fantastic Buster Keaton film, if you've not gotten a chance to watch it. Uh, what is this? Uh, Chinatown. Another double feature. Uh, isn't life wonderful? And this just looks like a almost like documentary type of thing uh, of this guy and just working on different musicals, I think. But we have a grand hotel. And this is the other one that is a brand new factory sealed disc. And this is a Ten Commandments or the Ten Commandments. It has the original price tag of $49.99 or $49.98. I'm sorry. Um, has the original sticker on it. It's actually pretty cool to have a brand new factory sealed uh, laser disc in my collection. And I have here another copy of uh, The Bicycle Thief, which just, it's fun. Uh, Doddsworth. Try not to get the uh, the reflection on all of these, so you can actually see these, but oh, just some great, great stuff. Some classics, um, some really old stuff. Henry V, which is also technically in the uh, Criterion Collection. Let's see, All the King's Men. Another classic is uh, A Streetcar Named Desire. Uh, Mrs. Brown. I always loved these with the uh, the stripes on them. I always loved, they looked so cool. I think I have a, a copy of Texas Chainsaw Massacre that has that. Um, and this is in the Criterion Collection um, on uh, on like Blu-ray, I believe. So it's kind of fun just to see these um, these ones that are. You know, available on Criterion are also he has on a laser disc. So I have here uh, a fish called Wanda. This is a fantastic film I watched semi recently, but uh, I Confess by Alfred Hitchcock. Falling Down. All Quiet on the Western Front. Red River. Again, available in the uh, Criterion Collection. Um, but I'm very excited just to uh, um, just to get to watching some of these because there's just so many classic films and just so much great stuff within this uh, this lot. It's an Oliver Stone film. Young Frankenstein, which believe it or not, I have not seen Young Frankenstein. Um, I really need to get around to watching this, but it's one of those that I just haven't, you know, ever gotten around to uh, to checking out. But see, in the name of the Father, I'm trying to go fast because I know this video is already going to be a is already going to be a, a fairly long one. I have here uh, Nicholas and Alexandria. More Alfred Hitchcock of a Rear Window. Annie in the Thousand Days. A 
Age of Innocence. It's a Martin Scorsese. I'm pretty sure I have this one as well um, within my collection, so I might have to check that one. But I'm trying to, uh, you know, to point or uh, keep in mind which ones I have in my collection so I don't have to go back. Uh, this is another one with the uh, Japanese writing on the, uh, the back of it, which is kind of fun. Uh, they Drive by Night. And I have here uh, Fanny and Alexandra. This is a uh, um, Bergman. I have the, uh, the Blu-ray up there, Igmar Bergman uh, set. So, um, but then he pointed out that this stack of I think these are documentaries um, are really I guess rare. Uh, I don't know how accurate this is, but uh, he pointed them out um, that they're really uh, like desirable. And I don't know if they were documentaries or what, but um, I have a couple of these with like this border around each one. So I'll just kind of show these real quick. So very curious on what these exactly are. I haven't really got a chance to uh, to like go through all of these and see what's you know hard to find or what, but. Um, Here's just another one. Um, so, let's see, and then we have uh, Sunset Boulevard, fantastic film. And I have uh, The Postman Always Rings Twice. I believe this is the original. And Detour, which is a also within the uh, the Criterion Collection. Atlantis. Uh, double feature again. How green was my valley? A uh, woman under the influence. This is Orson Welles' Macbeth. I guess Orson Welles in it or is in it. Uh, shadows. I think it was John Cassavetti, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this won Best Picture um, back in the day as well. There's a couple Best Picture winners. Uh, then these are just some box sets um, that there's in here uh, with just some titles, so I'll show that quickly. Some of these I've never even heard of, so I'm very curious on these, but. This is kind of really cool. This is a brand new factory sealed copy of uh, Gone with the Wind. And these um, these are honestly kind of a, I guess this is a nice transition into the more obscure stuff. Um, these are ones that uh, I'm very excited to add to my collection because just judging by, at least from eBay listings, these couple I looked up, um, these are not super hot, like super common things, but this is uh, Classics of Early Soviet, Soviet Cinema. Uh, this is the second series. So there is another one before this, but um, it's a box set with some early Soviet cinema um, in there. So very excited. It's the titles in the bottom. Uh, if you want to pause and read those. And then this is the uh, the golden age of German cinema. So again, just very excited to add stuff like this to my collection. And these are really cool. Um, these are just the let's see the art of Buster Keaton. So this is just a bunch of Buster Keaton things in here. Um, this is volume one, volume two, and volume three. So. I, Buster Keaton is one of those guys that I have not really had a chance to watch a lot of what he has done that I just, um, I feel like it's it's an area of my collection that I'm kind of uh, lacking on. And this is just a, uh, similar to like a DVD cleaner, uh, this is a Laserdisc lens cleaner, which is kind of fun. I think you just pop it in and it, um, it cleans your, your player, the little like eye that reads the discs. And then I have here some just music uh, discs. This is uh, The Doors, which again, not super into the um, the music world, but uh, this is uh, the world's greatest ho or the world's greatest roller coaster thrills in 3D. So just kind of weird stuff like this too. Um, let's see. 
the, the Grateful Dead. Just more music, some Bob Dylan. These are not vinyl, these are the uh, it's like concert DVDs or stuff like that. Uh, this is uh, Video Clash. Just a, a test screen, I guess a test, uh, a player test, I guess, um, which I believe I already have this as well. Uh, there's just some more, uh, just random stuff in here too. Um, uh, when comedy was king. Daddy long legs. Have, lastly here we have a uh, Christmas in July and then these are the uh, cinema disc collection so I believe these are all uh, French titles if I'm not mistaken um, so uh, I have I don't really know how to pronounce some of these I mean apparently this wrote, like translates to goodbye children um, but I'm going to be showing more of these and actually saying the titles because some of these are not in English. Um, and I'll, I'll point out ones that I, I can recognize, but uh, this is the Canterbury Tales by uh, Pasolini, which I believe is in the Criterion box set. Uh, Wings of Desire. Um, so some of these, I guess, aren't necessarily foreign, which I this might be English and German. Yeah, so this is a German uh, film, which is also... Within the Criterion Collection, um, so this is a forgotten tune for the flute. In Loves of a Blonde, also within the uh, Criterion Collection. Going Places, just the classic of uh, Cinema Paradiso, which is a fantastic film if you ever get a chance to uh, check that out. Closely Watched Trains, uh, Field of Honor, but I'm just excited to actually, you know, be able to sit down and watch some of these, um, but The Shop on Main Street, a lot of these, uh, this type of movie is, was put into the uh, Criterion Collection, so... Translates to, I guess, the reader. And lastly, of this cinema col disc collection, this is a vagabond. So now I'm going to talk about the uh, the silent black and white films that um, a lot of them I have never heard of, and so I am very excited to dive into these um, and actually like watch some of these. But there's a, I mean, a decent collection here. Um, some of these I've never, again, I've never heard of, but uh, this is the the silent enemy. Uh, I don't know if this is a documentary or not because it has this uh, the age of exploration, um, which I guess it kind of goes with the uh, those other ones that I was showing earlier. But um, I mean, Ivan the Terrible Part One, Ivan the Terrible Part Two, fantastic films. I mean, this is just a classic. Everyone in film in the film world has probably seen this already but um see alexander nevsky uh mother this is more some fitz lang there's a couple of fitz lang titles in here uh, which is exciting The Iron Mask. The Mask of Zorro. Uh, the Last of the Mohicans. Uh, so these, this is the uh, the silent classics. Uh, this is the uh, the Eagle. D.W. Griffith's Abraham Lincoln. More Fitz Lang, which again is a, Fitz Lang is a, uh, an area within my collection that I just have not uh, really dove into. Um, 
And so I, I need to, but it's a, um, I don't know. He's a very interesting director, which I love Metropolis, so I should probably dive in. But um, this is a Chaplin. Uh, so there's a couple volumes of this. Uh, let's see, Lost and Found Keystone. Um, so this is volume two. I'm assuming, yeah, volume one. Uh, volume three. Maybe this is one. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on these, but um, let's see. Intolerance, which is uh, a very, very old movie. Um, I believe this was, yeah, D.W. Griffith, um, which I have this on a DVD. I haven't got a chance to uh, check that one out yet, but. Um, just some great stuff that's um, Alexander Nevsky. So this is another copy of the film, I, I guess. <laughs> and this one's exciting. This is uh, Landmarks of Early Film. And so included in here is um, a lot of like the early, early, early um, stuff. So, I mean, there's like a train arriving at a station um, I'm trying to think what else is in here. There's a trip to the moon. Um, uh, let's see the um, great train robbery, I believe is in here, but just a bunch of early cinema stuff from like the early 1900s and even the 1800s. But, um, this is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Some WC Fields, six short films, which seen those that's this disc is in the uh, criterion collection i'm excited about this one because this is a film i've never gotten a chance to watch but uh this is the general it's one that i've always been one, like curious to see but i've just never gotten around to it uh some more dw griffith stuff more dw griffiths this is hearts of the world the black pirate Uh, Cobra. But some, I mean, some of these stuff I've just never heard of. But uh, these are, um, looks like Chaplin. I'm assuming, yeah, this is Chaplin. But it is all in uh, Japanese writing. So I'm going to have to watch it to find out exactly what this is. But this is a volume seven, I guess. Um, so the back's in Japanese, the side, the title, everything is in uh, Japanese. So there's a couple of these, and I'll show them. Um, but there's that one. I guess this one has Chaplin, A Woman of Paradise. Um, so, but you can kind of see the back is also all in Japanese, and even the spine and everything about it. But it's, it's awesome. I love them. They're so cool. And this is um, just by the photo. I know this is modern times. Uh, so. And uh, let's see, Underworld and the Docks of New York. So. In, in uh, Japanese. I guess these are just some random uh, other silent films. Uh, the Big Parade. Uh, Foolish Wives, Stella Dallas, and a random box out here of um, Bandwagon. Nearing the end, but, um, you know, there's there's just so much to go through, but uh, here's just some more uh, D.W. Griffith um, cinema. And then there's a bunch of these silent classics, um, Little Annie Rooney. Uh, the Thief of Baghdad. Suds. And here I have, uh, this is The Extra Girl. Let's see. The Beloved Rogue. The Son of the Shri uh, Shriek. Uh, Blood and Sand. Uh, Pollyann. 
see, Diary of a Lost Girl. Spies. Queen Kelly. Uh, Sparrows. My Best Friend's Girl. The Strong Man. Spiders. And this one's actually put out by a Kino Video, and that is uh, Sadie Thompson. So this one's actually kind of uh, falling apart, unfortunately. The disc is sliding out from the bottom, so I'll have to put this into a, a sleeve so that doesn't happen. And finishing it up with all of, of the silent films, this is The Four Horsemen and The Apocalypse. This is one that I've been wanting to see for a while. And um, on the back here, it looks like it has the original receipt um, dated 12-6-1993. Um, for $96. And so I, like, I looked this up um, before recording this video, and this is a fairly hard disc to come by. Um, there's, I think, currently there's a few listed on eBay, but they're all um, pretty expensive. I mean, $60 to $100 roughly. Um, I never, I didn't see this particular edition. This one has a bunch of Japanese writing all over it, so it's definitely a foreign disc, but um, yeah, this is a uh, not very easy movie to uh, come by, as, as far as I understand, with the little research I did. But um, it's just kind of a cool thing to add to my uh, collection. So um, next up is all of the Criterion titles. Now, I've mentioned this before, that uh, Criterion is my uh, favorite thing to collect, whether that is Blu-ray, DVD, 4K, or that is also uh, Laserdisc. Now, um, I know I've done videos in the past going over my complete Criterion Laserdisc uh, collection. Uh, I think I've already mentioned this in this video, um, that this pretty much doubled my Criterion Laserdisc collection. Uh, actually, it went over double. Um, before this, I had about 37 titles, um, and there is about 56, I think, 50-something 50, 50 something of um, Criterion Laserdiscs in here. So uh, I am very, very excited to, uh, to you know, add these to my collection. I'm very grateful that I was able to get this whole lot. But um, I'm just going to jump right into the, uh, the Criterion ones. I'm not going to go over spine numbers at this point. I'm just going to kind of quickly um, you know, mention the titles and move on to the next one because this video is already pretty long. Um, but this is uh, Forbidding Games. See, fires on the plane. Let's see, uh, Virgin Spring. La Strada. Mona Lisa. Akiu. West Side Story. Twelve Angry Men, The Thirty Nine Steps, The Asphalt Jungle, The Lady Vanishes, The Four Hundred Blows, The Big Chill, uh, Moon or uh, Mon Uncle. I don't know how exactly you pronounce this, but I do know this is. Um, a uh, Jacques Tati film, I believe. Uh, Belle de Jour. Again, I do not speak any other language besides English, so I apologize if I'm butchering some of these, but uh, Rome, Open City. Uh, Last Tango in Paris. Notorious. La Aventure. Uh, Jules and Jim, uh, The Emperor Jones, we have here uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, which I have the uh, the other edition of this, so I'm very excited to have uh, both of these, or both of the uh, different editions. Um, the, Magnific the Magnificent Ambersons, so I've been talking for a very long time now, so my, um, you know, I'm stumbling over my words, but... Uh, Early Summer, The King of Kings, if you're uh, Ashes and Diamonds, 
A Night at the Opera, Spartacus, which is just an amazing edition of the film, and I'm excited because it's like a, um, I don't know, I, I love having different like Kubrick films within uh, the uh, Criterion Collection, which I, I think all of his films should be within the Criterion Collection, but um, then I have here, uh, this is a Taxi Driver. They made four different uh, artworks for Taxi Driver. Um, and so this is spy number, this is the only one I'll say spy numbers, but this is a 109. And so there's two different artworks for the spy number 109 and two different for 109A. So just kind of a fun, I guess, fun fact. Then I have here, um, this is a different version of Citizen Kane that I currently have, but Citizen Kane. Um, so... It's, it is interesting when it comes to uh, Criterion, there are different artwork variations for different titles. It depends really on, um, on the, uh, the title, but for Citizen Kane, there was a lot of different artwork variations. And I think this had to do with special features as well, but I like to collect all of them, but uh, F for fake. Some John Waters, uh, this is a polyester, and this does include the uh, the scratch and sniff uh, stickers in there, so that's kind of fun. Uh, which, again, I've never, that's one uh, John Waters film I've never seen, so I'm excited to uh, check it out. This is uh, El Cid. Dia Dia Diabolique. And this is a Criterion Television Classics. So Criterion actually put out a few different uh, television um, like classics, I guess, um, that they were not spine numbered. There was only a handful. There's not uh, that many. Um, I want to say like seven, maybe, that weren't spine numbered. Uh, and this is one of them. And so this is uh, the I Love Lucy disc. So there's a few episodes and highlights of uh, I Love Lucy on there, uh, which is really fun. Um, Odd Man Out. Shampoo. Uh, not sure how you pronounce this, so I'm just going <laughs> to show it. Uh, this is actually a Martin Scorsese, similar to um, see, A Personal Journey with Martin Scorsese through American Movies. Um, this is similar to, it seems like it's kind of his, like, uh, it's over there, like the Martin Scorsese uh, cinema projects that he did later, but um, I've, I've never seen it, so I can't say for sure, but uh, Wild Strawberries. The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Black Narcissus. Olympia. And finally, the last one. <laughs> uh, this is Fellini's Satyricon. And that is everything. I am so sorry that that was such a long video. Um, sorry that I was going through it quickly. I didn't want to uh, make this like a very, very long video. I mean, I'm I'm hoping it's within like, you know, it's, I'm hoping it's under a half hour, but we'll see. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am so excited uh, to have all of these great movies within my collection. I'm very grateful. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I know I was going quick. Um, if there is any film that uh, maybe caught your eye that, um, you know, you want more explanation, you might want to see the special features or uh, anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd happy to uh, send you over photos over Instagram uh, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I am going to go drink some water because I've been talking a very long time now. So um, yeah, let me know also just... Uh, did you think that there's some rare things in here? Uh, do you know the world of Laserdisc? Is there anything in here that really stood out to you? I'd be very curious. Um, but guys, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys all in the next video.